A generic process I recommend for people to prepare interview uh, could be summarized into three steps. The first step is to go through Hey, I'm Eliza with Springboard. I'm excited to be talking about data science interviews and careers with Eva, a data scientist at Uber. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> to kick things off, can you just tell me a little bit about your background yeah. and uh, how you became a data scientist? I am a data scientist at uh, Uber for three years. And before I joined Uber, I was a business intelligence engineer at Amazon. Mm. And um, I studied business analytics uh, for my grad school. Why I chose data science? Because um, I really enjoy coding and also critical thinking. Um, so I feel like if uh, data science is like a perfect uh, position for combining engineering and uh, data analytics together. Can you tell me a little bit about the interview process for a data scientist? Are there generally a lot of rounds um, or phone screens? The general interview process is like phone screen conducted by the recruiter, technical interview conducted by either hire manager, engineers, or senior member, data scientists in the team. And then after these two rounds, our candidate is invited to on-site at the mm -hmm. company to meet four to six people in one day. Right. That's uh, a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like, uh, during the on-site interview, uh, some of the interviewer are engineers. Some of the interviewers are product manager. The candidate absolutely will meet some uh, data scientists and data science manager at the on-site interview. When you're in the interview, what are some common questions that you'll get asked as a data scientist? I feel like it really depends on a team. The data scientist position can be categorized. Number one is the more data engineering focus. And the second type is like product data science. The third one would be like a platform based data science. During the data science interview process, um, I see three categories, most common question. Uh, number one is for data analysis. A candidate might need to answer the question with the coding language. It can be how can you count the number of users in this table? How can you join these two tables together? A candidate can use SQL, SQL, or R to finish this question. The second type of question a candidate might need to answer is about statistical modeling. So for example, what kind of test a data scientist should use for binomial metrics? So this is about statistical modeling. And then um, the third one is very common in product data scientists. Um, interview question is like how to define the success of metrics. So let's say you have an online shopping website and you want to grow your website uh, to attract more traffic. Then how can you quantify this question and figure out the best metrics to measure the new customer? to your website. So in your experience, what's the best way to prepare for an interview? A generic process I recommend for people to prepare interview uh, could be summarized into three steps. The first step is to go through the basic concept of statistical modeling. I saw some candidates who are really strong in understanding the mathematics part, but they forgot what they want to say during the interview. So um, it's always good to go through the basic concept of statistical modeling. The second step of uh, preparing the interview is to know the product of the company you are going to interview for. So let's say you are going to interview for a position of an online marketing company. It's a good idea for a candidate to understand what's the general uh, metrics of um, online marketing. The third one is always um, helpful to practice coding before the interview. So the candidate can look for like coding question online um, and think about how uh, he or she can answer like uh, SQL and Python questions. So say you're starting out as a data scientist. What's mm -hmm. something that you should focus on learning as you're just starting out? As a new data scientist who uh, just uh, graduated from school, find a mentor in the company because like different company has like different product is always helpful to have a senior member to help the data scientist to learn about the metrics of success the company care for. When you get a mentor um, or when you find a mentor, uh, what do you hope to learn from them when you're starting out? 
a data scientist who graduate from college uh, can learn about like presentation skill and stakeholder management skill from their mentor um, because these are two things we cannot learn from school. So let's say you have a presentation you want to deliver, you can ask your mentor to uh, give advice to your presentation and your slides uh, that you need to improve. What's the general career trajectory for a data scientist? I saw two direction after people grow for many years. Um, the first direction is staying in data scientists uh, individual contributor track. Um, so the person can be a staff data scientist or principal data scientist in the company and doing very in-depth research work. Another direction can be a data science manager. A data science manager might become like a data science director in the future and they are going to lead a big data science project for a specific product in the company. Do you have any tips for someone who's trying to break into the data science industry? If a person who works for other industry and want to switch to data science, I would recommend they uh, should remember they always have their strengths in their background. So let's say a person who worked for banking before, there's like data science team who fo focus on finance. So um, always connect your past uh, project with the available data science position in the market is a uh, good thing. How can someone be successful in the data science industry with just a bachelor's degree or with no degree at all? I saw data scientists with bachelor's degree very successful as well. Um, so they, with like only bachelor's degree, some of the data scientists are really strong in coding. They are coding skill in Python and R and Scala are almost like as good as engineers. Um, another direction for data scientists with bachelor's degree is continue to develop your product sense. Uh, because like different company, their product is very unique. And if you can become the expert in the product in your own company, whether or not you have a bachelor's degree doesn't matter. Your knowledge in this product cannot be replaced by academic achievement. I think that's all the questions we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been really fun talking to you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions you'd like us to ask data scientists in the future, please comment below. And uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Happy learning.